Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade and today I'm going to be taking you guys through a meal prep with me video and this is the first time I've ever done a video like this so I hope that you guys like it. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get on into meal prepping for the week. All right, y'all, I am super excited because I am following a really strict diet this upcoming week, and you guys will see that all in next week's What I Eat Wednesday video, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is break up my pen and paper and give myself a list of everything that I'm going to be meal prepping. It is going to just make life a lot easier if I know exactly what I'm making, and that is a tip that I have for you guys is to write out what you're meal prepping. And this meal prep is gonna be really easy. It's going to be focused on snacks, breakfast items and lunch items and this is all for those busy mamas who either have to go to work or who are just usually so busy throughout the day that it's hard to have things prepped and ready to go that are healthy options so I hope that this will give you an idea on how you can incorporate more healthy meals and meal prepping into your weekly routine So the first thing that I'm gonna do in preparation for this meal prep is basically get out all of the ingredients that I need for everything that I wrote down on my list. I'm gonna pull out all of my veggies, all of my lettuce, and different items that I'm gonna need, and I'm gonna get them ready, wash them all up, and get them all set and ready to go for cutting. I'm gonna get myself set up with some zoodles, and if you don't know what those are, they are a nickname for zucchini noodles or spaghetti-like noodles made from spiralizers. I love this spiralizer that I have. It is perfect and handy. I'll have that link down below for you guys. But zoodles contain no flour or wheat whatsoever, and they are very low in calories and carbs. And it is possible to find these already pre-made in grocery stores if you're super busy, but I prefer to set aside time in meal prep to make them fresh at home, especially considering they can take just a few minutes to prepare. I love using zoodles in place of spaghetti noodles and this way I get to still enjoy pasta night at my house without the guilt. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on some hard-boiled eggs. Eggs are one of the healthiest and most weight loss friendly foods you can eat and I love cooking up a few of these in the beginning of the week just so that I have them for a quick portable snack whenever I'm feeling the hunger hit. Celery is a huge component in this diet that I'm following this week, and celery is also an excellent source of vitamin A, C, and K, which all help to fight free radicals in your body, and it's a good source of potassium and folic acid, both of which are important to keep your body functioning property properly they're filled with water and they're really tasty when you pair them with like hummus or salsa even or different dips like that so i'm going to go ahead and cut up the celery i'm going to store them in this container and the trick to keep these nice and fresh all week is to put a little bit of water at the bottom of the container and store them in your fridge like this i'm also going to be slicing up some bell peppers and dicing some as well Bell peppers are a, another great snack that I have, and the riper the bell peppers, the sweeter it will taste. So for those of you who've been struggling with a diet to lose weight because you don't like eating vegetables, most of it tastes super bland, you can try eating bell peppers because it does have a slight sweet taste, so you won't necessarily feel like you're eating a vegetable. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get some spinach prepared here in my food processor because I am making these really great egg bites for breakfast. Eggs are seriously a huge breakfast staple for me. They're, they've got protein and healthy fats and they're really filling and delicious and they're a great start to my day. But the problem with eggs is, is that they aren't super portable or preppable. So when you're in a rush in the morning, the last thing you wanna do is bust out a bunch of eggs and vegetables and get them cooking. But now with this super simple recipe for these little egg bites, they can be meal prepped in advance, they're super portable, and they allow you to have a really delicious breakfast on the go. So I love just slicing up like some turkey breast and some onions and uh, slicing up some bell peppers and different toppings and just putting all of them in these little muffin tins here, baking them in the oven at 350 degrees with a little bit of egg mixture mixed in and you can even top these with cheese and these are really delicious.
I'll be sure to have all of the recipes that I'm talking about listed in the description box below for you guys so that you can have everything set up for your next meal prep. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is prep a large salad. And this is great because during the week when I work, I typically like to just take salads in with me. So I'm just gonna mix up some baby spinach and some romaine lettuce in a large bowl. And I'm gonna cut up the toppings. I like using tomatoes and cucumbers in my salad and a little bit of red onion. And I also like adding in some yellow be bell peppers into my salads also. The B vitamins and yellow bell peppers really help to turn the carbohydrate and the foods that you consume into energy. And I am all about getting that extra energy right now. A really cool thing that I picked up this week was this micro kale mix and these are basically like micro greens and they're essentially like seedlings and they provide a bunch of nutrients and a lot of texture to salads with low calories so I just love incorporating those into my salads now. Pull the egg muffins out, they're delicious. A huge thing for me is having healthy alternatives for whenever that 2 or 3 p.m. snack craving really hits. So I decided that I would make some kale chips for the week. And kale is honestly, it's incredibly super healthy and it's loaded with fiber and antioxidants and it is a super great snack that you can pop out whenever your feeling cravings hit. And I really like these because they honestly remind me of chips when I eat them. They're nice and crunchy and they just really hit the spot if I'm craving something salty. Let me know guys, are you guys usually meal preppers yourself? Do you set aside a certain day of the week to meal prep or do you have certain things that you like to make ahead of time so that your week flows easier with different meals for your family? I'd love to hear what you guys do to make meal prep easier for you. So let me know down in the comments below. My secret to some amazing kale chips is to add a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes on top. It just gives it a nice little kick and a nice little twinge of heat, which just makes these super salty and a little bit spicy and they are so good. The last thing that I'm gonna do is to prepare a protein ahead of time and this week I'm doing salmon and I love adding salmon to those salads that I'm gonna be taking to work with me and they also just make it easier if one night I'm really not feeling like making dinner, I already have some salmon cooked and ready to go so all I have to do is literally just heat it up with like some of that salad or veggies I'm making this a garlic butter salmon so I'm just going to melt some Kerrygold butter here and I'm gonna add some garlic to that and I'm gonna mix it all together throw it on top of the salmon with some salt and pepper and garlic salt and I'm just gonna broil it until it is done That's everything I have today on my list today, guys. I hope that y'all really enjoyed this meal prep. I hope that y'all felt inspired and I hope that you guys can also meal prep some meals for yourself to make it easier for your week ahead and that you can make your fitness goals a priority by choosing healthy foods and having healthy snack options available. I'll catch you in the next one, bye.